Congratulations, you found the only murders after show. One killer question. Or maybe you just hit the button by accident. Either way, too late now. Ha. Oh, hello. Welcome to One Killer Question, the only murders in the building after show. I'm your host, Michael Cyril Creighton. Mabel is hot on the case of Ben's murder, which she definitely has time for, because it's not like she has a job or a place to live or a clear sense of direction. I'm almost 30 and I have nothing figured out. I don't know, I'm just lost. Which begs the question, should Mabel really be investigating right now? Here to help me are David DeLuise and Drew Afualo. Thank you guys for being here. So let's talk about this. Do we think that Mabel should be investigating right now? I personally, I think she should. The last two seasons especially, she really found purpose again through her podcast, through friendship, which she kind of like self-isolated a lot. So I feel like they really brought her out of her shell. I'm in favor of her investigating, honestly. And I'm very nosy personally, so I would also investigate. You'd also be investigating no matter yeah. where, where your life was. Yeah, yeah, deep down, I'm a chismosa. So. What is a chismosa? That means nosy person in Spanish. Oh, I think I'm a chismosa too. I think <laughs> I'm a chismosa as well. And I agree with Drew. There's a dead body. We need to know what happened. The reason I'm pro Mabel investigating right now is because it really does seem to make her happy. Mm -hmm. And she's 29, right? It's a time when you're figuring yourself out. It, but like we could make the argument, right, that focusing on Ben's death and the investigation surrounding it is getting in the way of her focusing on her real life. And it's sort of a crutch so she doesn't have to make these sort of adult decisions. Well, don't we all have those problems? I'm 51 and I'm still trying to figure out who I'm gonna be. I think investigating the murder of Ben is going to lead her to who she is, you know what I mean? Finding out who she is as a person. I think that's all your 20s is really, is, is constantly, like constant self rediscovery. Like you're just finding out new things about yourself. I'm a Virgo, so I stick to plans. I never deviate from plans, literally ever. And then the pandemic hit, I got thrown off my career path like unexpectedly. And then shortly after that, I downloaded TikTok and then I started doing this and now I'm here talking to you guys. So I'm all for Mabel rediscovering her. Yes, 100%. <laughs> this is a lesson to Mabel. I hope yeah. Mabel's watching. <laughs> Team Mabel. Team Mabel. Team Mabel, yes. Team Mabel. <laughs> Hit me up, girl. I'll help yeah. you in person. That's very encouraging. I think we're all in agreement on this. Yes, she should be investigating. One, because without that, there would be no show. Um, <laughs> but two, she needs something. And if right now it's the podcast, do it. Mabel's character is someone who's suffered a lot of trauma and death, and I feel like this has been a way for her to like work through it in a way that's healthy. Yeah. And that's why I think she's so connected to the podcast and like finds it hard to let go a little bit. This is like the only kind of control she has is whether or not she looks into this investigation. Right. She isn't in control of anything else, where she's gonna live, what she's gonna do, how she's gonna make money, but she can control whether or not she sleuths. Do you think that this investigating will help the other pieces of her life fall in place? It'll bring them together. Uh, they're, they're all going to be back together as a, as a team because they'll be working together. I think she needs Charles and Oliver. Like, they're her family now. They're her, like, fake fathers. And, you know, I think as a family, mm -hmm. you can solve anything together. You know, I think them being a team is very important yeah. to solve the murder. I think the running theme for all three main characters is uh, difficulty letting go. Right, so like Oliver has a hard time letting go of his Broadway failure and Charles has a hard time um, letting go of Brazos, right? And then, you know, obviously Mabel has a really hard time letting go of like her friendship and, and investigating and stuff like that. So I think once that one piece and that door is closed, she'll like really be able to like move forward and see what's next in life, right? So hopefully not any more murder. Or more, that's fine no, too. Please hopefully more murder. <laughs> please keep the murder coming for uh, all of us for at least a few more years. Do we think that she could do it on her own? Do we think that she could solve this murder on the own without the help of Charles and Oliver? They all bring something very specific and unique. I don't think she could do it on her own necessarily. You're right, let's hope that they start solving this crime together. Sleuthing is the right thing for <laughs> Mabel to be doing right now. I'd never heard that word before. <laughs> I'd like to sleuth myself. Are you a sleuther? 
I would say I'm not a sleuther. I might be too lazy to sleuth. I feel you. But I do like getting to the bottom of things. Yeah, and this begs the question, sleuthing and nosiness, mm -hmm. how close are those two things? Uh, married, they're yeah, married. I think so, I think they're at least in the same neighborhood. Yeah. I think like one that. you can go to prison for, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. Right? And for one's sleuthing. just fun. Yeah, one's just sort of fun. <laughs> no, being nosy Silly. is so fun. <laughs> David and Drew, it's time for one killer game. Our trio of sleuths are trying to solve Ben's murder. So is Ben's not crazy at all stalker. Punk ass bitch, you should see me now. Who's more likely to solve the case? In front of you are a pair of binoculars for stalker <laughs> and a magnifying glass for sleuth. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you some questions about Ben's life. You guys are gonna decide which role you wanna be, pick up the prop and give me an answer. So like an example would be, what kind of shampoo does Ben use? And a sleuth would say, oh, I checked his credit card and it's whatever shampoo he uses. Mm -hmm. A stalker might say, oh, well, I got some hair from his drain and I smelled it and it smells like oatmeal and perfection. So <laughs> I know exactly what shampoo he uses. <laughs> We good? Yes. Yes. We're good. All right. How often does Ben brush his teeth? Sleuth. I'll do the sleuth one. Not often, because when you look at him, his teeth are a little yellow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, based off what I saw through my binoculars on the roof across from his apartment building, I think it's on 92nd Street. He does brush semi-often. However, based off the traces of food in his teeth that I did get off the floss in the trash can outside, I would say he doesn't floss nearly as often as he should. Are you as scared as I am? <laughs> it's true, they're coming for you. You hear that siren? Awesome they're dumb. coming for you. That's <laughs> nothing to do with it. Um, what is Ben's workout routine? Um, I'll go with Stalker. Well, he benches 250, and his uh, sweat smells like sunshine. He runs very fast to the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> you were so giddy about that. Thank that you. was Stalker. He's you adorable. You giggle, giggle about how fast he runs. According to him, he does Pilates, however. I did ask around at the Pilates studio and they did say that he typically goes to the donut store next door to the Pilates. He doesn't ever really come inside. So um, I'm gonna say not often. Very sleuth. Very <laughs> sleuthy. I love that. Um, next one. What color are Ben's bath towels? When I went through his trash, I saw that he bought green towels with a green matching robe. <laughs> I guess it depends on the lighting. Because when he stands in direct sunlight, they look more teal. Wow. <laughs> Drew, this, you were born to do that. To be a stalker. And it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary. I prefer you in stalker mode. <laughs> I prefer Thank you in stalker mode. <laughs> This was so great. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, this was one killer question. Can't wait to see you again. Actually, I'm hiding in your closet. Creepy. <laughs>